Hi everybody, this is installing Windows Vista, and in this case Windows Vista Home Basic because I don't have Windows Vista Home Premium or I don't have a code for it, more to the point. Now I've moved the camera a little bit further away, I hope you can see that, uh, but I do know from my other videos that when you're video on the screen it's not very clear. Okay, you've got a button installed now. What to, what to know before installing Windows and repair your computer. Repair your computers if, if Windows is, is damaged. <clears throat> what to know before installing Windows is if you haven't got a copy of Windows Vista on your computer and it gives you all the, all the gump about it. And if, but if you get a copy of it from a shop, if you can still get a copy, because most of them sell Windows 7 now, um, you, you should tell you, they should be able to tell you if yours uh, runs, will run Windows. Uh, just there anyway, right, and also the install now button which I'm going to push and then obviously the screen comes up. Now the next thing is a code that you have to type in. Now I am going to show you that being typed in and then the last few two key lines or the last two lines I am going to cover over the computer so that you can't see them. <coughs> Okay, so now I always write it down on a piece of paper and then destroy the piece of paper afterwards because I find the code far too small to read indoors. Now, once you put the correct number of digits in, it will, when you type the next digit in, automatically put the, da the dash in for you. <coughs> so now I did this a few minutes ago and it told me the code was wrong and then I redid it and it told me the code was right. So let's hope we don't have any too many problems. But I think I've put a D where, where, where I've got it written down as a B and it should be a D. But I have done this a number of times but the camera keeps shutting down because it's broken. I don't know what's wrong with it. And it needs to be looked at or get a new camera. It might be cheaper to get a new camera. Right, okay. Now we are going to cover over the lens. The next. Go on there. And I will type them in once we are underway. Now this is one of the times it shut down a minute ago when I covered the lens over. So I don't know if it works out that nothing's happening for a few minutes. So. <coughs> so we will get this done as quickly as possible okay here we go it worked first time that time so here it goes right check the license that's to say yes I accept it if you don't you can't go any further Right, there's two. Upgrade. This is if you're upgrading from, say, Windows Vista to uh, from Windows XP to Windows Vista, or from Windows to whatever to Windows Vista, which we are not doing. We are doing a complete install or custom advanced, which is what we're doing. So you don't get the option to check that to click that. So we click this. Uh, <coughs> Right. <coughs> Didn't give me the option to do that. Right, okay. So, uh, Yeah, okay, so we'll format it. Yeah, okay. So we've got to format, oh god. It'll be a new, it's going to be a nuisance. Well, I might have to put a new, a different hard drive in this and start from, uh, uh, okay.
Right, unallocated format. Let's click it. <coughs> Sorry, this is being a nuisance. It shouldn't do, but it is. Right. This is being a right nuisance. Oh, let's see if it let me do that. I wanted it. I wanted that. Yes, it will. It's just being awkward. I wanted to put a partition on it, but I, I, it does because it doesn't need it. It's just being a nuisance. No, it does. Th it does this bit, expanding the files, etc. Um, sorry about that. But when I did that earlier, it allowed me to do it, but it won't allow me to do it now. So I don't know why I wanted to create a partition. But it won't allow me, wouldn't allow me to do it. There is actually Windows Linux on this, so I, and I have a sneaky suspicion it's got something to do with that. Because it took me a couple of attempts to get it to work earlier, but I, I did get it to work. But now it won't. So it's expanding the files. It'll take a while to do that. So... We won't, I won't run through the entire sequence with you. It, take, it can take forever to do. Basically, once it gets to the next section, I'll put another, another section on. Let's give it a few minutes. Uh, well, not a few minutes, I'll give it 30 seconds. It's taking its time. It does, it takes ages. It, it took about an hour last time. That's still not as long as it takes Windows XP to install anyway. Right, so we're going to Let's leave it. I'm going to turn this off once it's once it's done. Uh, that is that's basically it. You just have to let it do it itself. If it does anything else that I think you need to see, I'll make a separate video for that or videos for that. But this this takes forever. So that is basically how to do it. And that's it. Bye.